Okay, we're going to try to do this. <laughs> um, I've actually upgraded the firmware. Not that I think it required it um, particularly. I'm pretty sure it was, it was uh, fairly up to date, if not completely up to date. But I just decided that uh, I would go through the upgrade process, uh, making sure that the most recent uh, firmware for the Pandora, the open Pandora console was on there. Um, and I'm actually glad I'm doing this because uh, it is now going to take me through the uh, whole procedure as if you had just received it and turned it on for the first time. <coughs> Excuse my voice there. And turned it on for the first time so I can show all of you the, uh, the procedures of uh, going through that uh, initial setup as if you had just received it. Which, you know, I have. I had just received it from, from Mark Vahir. <laughs> so now I can experience the exact same thing he went through. So I will do this as carefully as possible. I am holding the, uh, the camera. So I will try to... Let's see. Start now. Okay. Please enter your full name. Alrighty. Well, I don't know if there's any security issues with me doing any of this. It is Linux, basically, I'm setting up here. So, uh, I'm not sure. I'm just going to uh, take you away from that as I enter. And, of course, I can enter it uh, using the built-in keyboard of the Pandora system. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep things simple here. I think... Uh, you all know how I'm referred to online in most places so I'm going to do some form of that um, name basically it won't be probably won't be too big a mystery for most of you but let's try that alright so I'm just entering my name and I'm going to say okay and confirm. Please choose a short username. It should be all lowercase and contain only letters and numbers. Well, I'm going to keep it the same. Please choose a new password. Uh, okay. I'll get right back to showing you exactly what I'm doing once I get past the name and password deal. Just making sure that when I hook up to wireless that I'm not providing uh, everyone with my information. Confirm your new password. Fine. Let's do it. And I should be using my stylus. Please choose a name for your open Pandora. Sure, that'll it gives you a default basically. Your name that you chose slash or uh, yeah, open Pandora, that would be fine. Alright, so let me get back to showing you what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. If you like, you can set up your Pandora to auto log in to your system at startup. Well, this is more convenient for most users. It features a potential security issue, as no password will be needed to access your desktop and personal files. Do you wish to automatically log in at start startup? Okay, I'm going to say yes, because nobody's ever going to have access to this device besides me. And if somebody does um, have access to it, then it means they've already pried it out of my cold, dead hands. So... That's all right. Live it up, guy. <laughs> so what do we got here? Uh, you can now select your 
preferred GUI, the GUI that will be loaded automatically on startup of the unit. You can either select a, blah, 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 a full desktop of environment similar to a normal PC, or you could select mini menu, which has a minimal UI similar to gaming devices. Uh, the setting can always be changed later. Well, I'm going to go with the one that's like the one for gaming devices. That's actually the menu that was set when I first received it. So, a very simple but flexible. Or select on startup. I'm going to go with mini menu. I present you mini menu. Here we go. So, let's, let's say OK. Alrighty. You selected mini menu as default setting. That is correct. Oh. Okay, please select your area. Yeah, I say America because you know there's no option to say Canada on there. I know, part of the. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Okay. And. Not a lot of choices here. Closest location. No, wait a minute. That's not right. Please select your location. Oh, I screwed up. That's fine. I'm, I could probably always change it later. No, I'm not in... It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick any American location. Earlier when I set up the date and time, <laughs> you actually had to choose... America to get options for your location that were like, you know, actually places in Canada, but now I'm doing it, and of course I only see places listed in the States, but whatever. Okay, so set up your date. Um, oh, it does have the right date on it. No, it should be the 18th. Come on, 18th, October 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, time format. Please enter the time in 24 hour format. 1426. 24 hour format. Uh, it's 1016, actually. Let's try this. Uh, go back. Ten, sorry about, excuse my hand, ten, and let's just do that, I'll say seventeen now, because by the time I enter it, ten seventeen, okay, alright, so you can set the initial clock speed, CPU of the Pandora support different speed settings. High speeds might make some units unstable, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's see here. Should be stable on one gigahertz unit? I don't know. I don't think this is, this is an original model. I don't think, it's not one of the new one gigahertz models. Uh, most properly unstable. I think it's a 600 megahertz unit. Um, should be stable on all units. Let's, let's go with that for now because I know I can change these settings later in the operating system. So we'll go with what should be stable on most units, on all units, 800 megahertz. Select. Alrighty. It's recommended to calibrate the touch screen to, yeah, we know, okay, so, sure, let's do that. So, just touching the points to calibrate. Boom. Your new calibration setting has been applied. Please check if the touchscreen is now working properly. If not, blah blah blah. The touchscreen is fine. It's actually quite good. Very sensitive. I'll make a liar out of me now, right? Oh, apparently it's not. It's not proper. Let's recalibrate that. Oh no. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, now I've done it. I'm gonna. Press enter? Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm going to try again because it is actually off. 
damn it. What happened? Okay, you know what? I'll come back when I've done this proper. No, let's see. Let's try it again. Uh, you know why? I keep missing that first point. That's why. <laughs> well, it just goes to show you that uh, this can be necessary. So let's see here. Okay, I think it's working properly now. No, it's not. Something's odd. Okay, I'm going to say recalibrate and make sure I get that first point. There! This is the first one I keep missing. Alright, so, tap, 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 tap. This should do it. This should be proper now. Please. Yes! Phew! Got that, got that working well. And all this time it was working fine before I did the recalibration, but anyways. So now we're back to where we should be. Alrighty, here we go. This concludes the mandatory part of the first boot wizard. You can now either continue to boot the system or change some more settings. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we'll just uh, finish the setup. I won't put you through any more pain because advanced overclocking, advanced startup setting, Oh, screw it. Let's go into the advanced startup settings. All right, so what are the options here? You can change the default boot up behavior of your Pandora. What do you want to do? Change the default GUI? No, we've chosen that already. That's what I want. Uh, enable, disable, auto log on. Select different default user. Enable, disable services on boot. No, I don't want to do any of that right now. It is fine. So let's finish. Let's finish this. Finish him. All right. Oh, good. You see a reflection of me with my headphones on and, and no shirt. <laughs> ah, foiled. Foiled by my own uh, efforts. That's okay. That's okay. I was all blurry. It was all blurry, so you didn't really see much. Alrighty, so there you go. That is actually the exact same um, interface, pretty much. I actually do see a couple different icons. I didn't originally, so there has been some changes. Toggle USB. I, I don't think that was there before. Um, but anyways, yeah, not bad. So graphics, network. Office, Other, and Settings. Alright, so that does it. That was your initial setup of the Pandora system. I'll show you what the other GUI... This is like... This would be like on most handheld gaming devices. You just have your icon, select everything. This is your... I'm going to switch the uh, GUI over to the uh, full desktop environment on the Pandora. There we go. Ignore the blurry figure in the background. <laughs> Alright, now we're booting up to its uh, full environment, which will look, seem more like maybe a Linux computer. Oh yeah, there's definitely a couple more icons in here. Oh, well, then again, I didn't have an SD card plugged in before. But the quick start guide there. And uh, yeah, that's cool. The date set, everything's set looking good all right so that that concludes my look at the initial setup of the pandora i thought it would be interesting uh, again because you know i think something like four thousand of these have been shipped in total and uh so not a lot of people would have had that experience of uh turning it on and setting it up for the very first time so uh, i've done the best i could with this uh, handheld camera to do that and there you have it that is the pandora uh, environment and let's see system yeah you can see it's almost like a uh, a very Windows like interface a graphic user interface here 
And uh, yeah, I think that'll do for now. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.